No way! Yup, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Let me just say, all of this was no accident. In this video, I design, construct, and push keyboards to the absolute mechanical limit, creating a spacebar that could click 100 times within a second. That all begs the question, why? Well, to answer that question, you need a bit of context. In regards to making keyboards click as fast as possible, or in other words, drag click, this is basically a space race to the moon. Instead of rockets, we have keyboards. Instead of the moon, we have the 100 CPS maximum. So essentially, the person who can get the most CPS on their keyboard will be victorious. So now, let me run down the history of the rankings. Seven months ago, a YouTuber named Trex, who will actually be featured later on in this video, made a video where he drag clicked 34 CPS on a keyboard. His video was the first of its kind and took the internet by storm. This marked the start of the drag clicking keyboard revolution. However, six months later, I built my own keyboard, smashed his original record by 5 CPS, getting a total of 39 CPS. And at the moment, I thought I was untouchable. I thought I was victorious. That was until one day later, he uploaded a video getting 44 CPS, oh beating me once again. At that moment, I just wanted to give him the record. He beat me fair and square. That was until I realized that my original drag clicking keyboard video met its 25K like goal, which was absolutely insane. And as a man of my word, I had to make the world's greatest drag clicking keyboard. Now it's time for me to show you how I built this insane keyboard, the countless failures I had to overcome, and Trix's live reaction to my record holding keyboard. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below. Can we reach 100k subscribers by December? Subscribing directly supports the channel and will allow me to break even more records in the future. This is only the beginning. This mod will consist of three major sections. The first will be modding the keyboard and making all those mechanical components to make the space for a drag click. The second will be making a computer module that will drive the clicks of the keyboard. And last but not least, the final section will be making an enclosure for the computer module. The keyboard we will be modding today will be the RK Royal RK918. This is a super cool looking keyboard that has a unique RGB and aluminum case. The keyboard, of course, has full RGB backlighting as well. For its relatively low price, the keyboard is actually not that bad. Here is a sound test. This keyboard, however, is a work in progress. We have a lot of modding to do. Before we start modding, let's disassemble the keyboard and see what we're working with. Taking off each and every keycap one by one, we are left with the final spacebar keycap. Depending on what's beneath this keycap could make or break this mod. Good news, we are in luck because right beneath the keycap is this convenient long slot in the base plate, and I'll explain to you why that's important later. Unscrewing several screws from the base plate, I can finally remove the base plate from the keyboard and start working on it. What I noticed immediately is that between the base plate and the circuit board is a big gap. My plan for this mod is to place two switches directly beneath the spacebar keycap, so that when the spacebar keycap is pressed down, it registers two clicks at once. Due to a convenient slot in the base plate, which I mentioned previously, two switches can be placed directly over it and have the wires fed through both holes. Simple enough, right? Well, here comes the tricky part. The last keyboard drag clicking mod I did was kind of basically handed straight to me. The switches on the keyboard were low profile, so all I had to do was plop that switch in there and it was pretty much done. And yeah, that's kind of lame. This mod though, is magnitudes harder. Let me explain. In order to get the highest CPS possible, I will have to place the switches directly below the spacebar. Not too high and not too low. What complicates this is that the actual spacebar itself is not flat. So I actually have to fill it up with some epoxy to make the bottom of the spacebar completely flat. To raise the switch, I first tried using this thin piece of plastic in which I cut it and drilled it so that it can rest 
below the switch. Unfortunately, the switch was still not high enough. I need to come up with a better solution to solve this problem, and I might just have it. How about I use clear acrylic instead? What's cool about acrylic is that it's clear so all light can pass through, and it's very easy to machine. Since I'm trying to break a CPS record, everything has to be machined very precisely and accurately. That will be done by this machine known as a milling machine, which can cut things extremely precisely. Now cue the machining montage. <laughs> To say the least, the pots turned out amazing. They fit directly under the spacebar and it works completely fine. Now let's solder, assemble, and create both switch housings. They can both be placed on the spacebar slot and have the wires fed through the base plate and out the back of the keyboard. Gluing the switch housings down with hot glue was not really the best idea. So instead, I'm gonna be using a super high strength glue to glue them down permanently on the base plate. Cool, we have a drag clicking space bar, but it's kind of useless by itself, right? So our next step is to create the brains of this operation. Preferably, we would want the two best drag clicking mice possible to connect to each switch beneath the space bar. In preparation for this mod and future mods, I bought like 50 drag clicking office mice. But you know what's really annoying? After taking apart the circuit boards and wiring everything together, Guess what? The maximum CPS I could possibly get was 40 CPS, which was an actual bummer for me. As any logical person would do, I went to the next best option, the world famous Bloody A70. One problem though, the Bloody A70 has optical switches instead of mechanical switches. I discovered that if you hotwire the two back pins, you can actually register clicks on the mouse. Unfortunately, these clicks are not that much and you get around four or five CPS which is terrible. I was down to my last option, and that was sacrificing my very expensive Cone XTD, as well as my wired Model O. Both of these mice I know for a fact are mechanical and can get insane CPS. All that was left to do was take apart both mice and wire everything together properly. But wait, hold on a moment. Who wants a pile of circuit boards laying next to the keyboard? Not me. We need to spice things up and make a custom RGB box for all of these boards. I could just be like 99.99% .99 of people and shove it in some random container, but no, I am Helix and we have to do things differently here. So I went up to my trusty attic and found this huge block of bulletproof acrylic that usually goes inside of a bank. And you may ask, what the heck am I gonna do with this? Well, remember, I have a milling machine. So I spent the next hour cutting layer by layer carefully and slowly until I was able to mill out a completely hollow box from this solid chunk of acrylic. Also, a cool thing about acrylic is if you put a blowtorch on it or a flame, it will actually grow more and more transparent. So, to make the size of the box more transparent, I just blowtorched the heck out of it until everything was perfectly clear. Drilling a few holes into the side of the box to allow wires to pass through, I could slip in the drag clicking module as well as an LED strip. What's cool is that with the press of a remote, I can change the colors of the box to match the keyboard. It almost looks like the circuit boards are like underwater or like frozen in time. That looks pretty cool. As a finishing touch, I cut out a stencil and spray painted Bob onto the keyboard. But remember, if this video gets 100k likes, I will send this keyboard two tracks and the man himself Bob mission complete I have created the world's greatest drag clicking custom keyboard give me a fair guess what do you think this keyboard got Fifty. This keyboard got 102 CPS. <laughs> the actual Bob versus Bob keyboard. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Dang, he did a telly bitch. All right. Are you ready for the battle of the century, Bob? Let's go, Bob. No. <laughs> Wait, what? Bob is doing the Andromeda Bridge? 360 Andromeda Bridge? Ah! Let's go! What an honor to fight Bob with his own keyboard. This is literally the world's fastest drag clicking keyboard. We need to do the ultimate test, can it god bridge? Although I'll give you a fair warning, I am not the best god bridger. Because I don't know the timing. What are you gonna do about that other keyboard you gifted, Bob? Before we move on to Bed Wars with Bob, I wanna tell you to check out Brick Science's video where he made an actual auto clicker out of Legos. He made a crazy cool invention and I actually dueled him with my keyboard. Listen, Bob, I have been waiting so long for YT rank. I got 30k subs and they denied me. Now I'm making videos with the legendary Bob. So I must be a Minecraft YouTuber then. Please don't embarrass myself in front of Bob. I'm gonna I'm gonna god boost this. It's not embarrass myself. Let's go. You got this, Bob. Uh. Let's go. That was so wonky. Uh oh. Smited. Let's go, let's go! Ah, let's go! Bob is sweating so hard! What? No! He's using YouTube break! I don't have YouTube break! I can't do those hacks!